but there must be some times when you're listening to Sam Warburton dissect the breakdown. And yeah. you, just, you just realize, oh shit, I'm supposed to be, <laughs> I'm next year. You know, you're actually, you're in the room, you're supposed to speak, but you, you're around these sort of legends of the game. And you must be, it, does it happen to you? But, but it's starstruck when you're actually there or are you able to just sort of stay in the zone and, uh, and get on with things? You know, I, I don't know if I've ever been properly starstruck um, because you're, you're focusing on your job, yeah. but there are definite pinch yourself moments where, you know, like before, uh, actually I've been down to Wales quite a lot recently, but the, before a Scarlet, Scarlet sale in um, the Champions Cup last year, and it was like Sam was there, uh, Shane Williams was there, and Chris Ashton was there. And they're all like, we're sitting in one of the, the rooms in the stadium beforehand, having a bite to eat and a coffee and just chatting away. And the, the old sort of two ears, one mouth, use them in proportion rule is, is yeah. sort of one that I try to follow when you're around company like that because they're talking about things they did on Lions tours and, you know, capers and funny stories about, you know, one of the coaches that's, that's involved this weekend or, you know, they've heard a bit of chat from someone they know and, it's fascinating stuff. It's often hilarious stuff. It's like, you know, the kind of stuff you'd hear on the after dinner circuit or in someone's autobiography. And sometimes it's even too hot for that. Yeah. Um, so me going, oh, I, once I was on a new rugby tour to Dublin and I, somebody threw us something overboard. Like, it's not really going to cut the ice much, is it? So um, <laughs> just try and shop and listen and, uh, and enjoy the company you're in. 